Near-death experiences, or NDEs, are profound psychological events reported by individuals who have come close to death. These experiences often include vivid sensations such as traveling through a tunnel, encountering a bright light, or reviewing one's life. Studies suggest that up to 20% of cardiac arrest survivors report NDEs, highlighting their prevalence. But what causes these extraordinary phenomena? Are they glimpses of an afterlife or simply the brain's response to extreme stress? This question sets the stage for our exploration. When the brain faces extreme stress, such as oxygen deprivation during cardiac arrest, it undergoes a series of dramatic changes. Neuroscientists propose that NDEs may result from temporal lobe seizures, hypoxia-induced hallucinations, or the release of neurotransmitters like DMT. These theories suggest that NDEs could be the brain's way of coping with trauma. However, some cases challenge purely biological explanations, such as patients recalling accurate details of their surroundings while clinically dead. This raises deeper questions about consciousness. Across cultures and religions, NDEs share remarkable commonalities, tunnels, bright lights, and encounters with deceased loved ones. These universal themes suggest a shared human experience beyond individual beliefs. For example, both a Buddhist monk and a Christian patient might describe similar visions. This consistency has led some researchers to speculate about a deeper, perhaps spiritual, dimension to NDEs. Yet skeptics argue that cultural conditioning could shape these reports. The debate continues, but the patterns are undeniable. Many who undergo NDEs report profound life changes, including reduced fear of death, increased altruism, and a heightened sense of purpose. Studies show that over 80% of experiencers describe these transformations as permanent. For some, the encounter with a being of light or a life review instills a newfound appreciation for life. These effects challenge the idea that NDEs are mere hallucinations, as they often lead to measurable shifts in behavior and worldview. The question remains, how can a fleeting experience leave such an indelible mark? NDEs sit at the intersection of neuroscience, psychology, and philosophy, challenging our understanding of consciousness. While biological explanations account for many aspects, cases like accurate out-of-body perceptions during flatlined EEGs remain unexplained. Cutting-edge research, such as the AWARE study, aims to test whether consciousness can persist beyond clinical death. Whether NDEs are glimpses of an afterlife or the brain's final masterpiece, they undeniably reshape our perception of life, death, and what lies beyond. The mystery endures, inviting us to explore further.